Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel NCRT Maths Hub. Today in this video, we will do worksheet number 49 for class 10 subject mathematics. So in this video, we are going to learn about perimeter and area of circle. So to find perimeter and area of circle, we will do two activities. The first activity is to find the value of pi and to determine the perimeter of circle. <clears throat> so to find the value of pi, consider different circles with different diameter. You can take smaller circle or, or larger circle. You can see any circle with any diameter and now find the ratio of circumference to the diameter of circle. So what do you have to do? ratio find out karna hai circumference or diameter ka aur aap kya observe karte hai, what you observed. So now we observe each time the ratio of circumference of circle to the diameter be a constant ratio. क्या होता है आपको इस टाइम क्या मिलता है सरकमफ्रेंस और डायमीटर का रेशियो क्या मिलता है कांस्टेंट रेशियो मिलता है एंड दिस कांस्टेंट रेशियो इज डिनोटेड बाय ग्रीक लेटर पाई एंड दिस पाई इज इक्वल्स टू अप्रोक्सीमेट 3.1416 सो देखिए इस टाइम आपको क्या मिलता है सरकमफ्रेंस और डायमीटर का जो रेशियो मिलता है वो कांस्टेंट रेशियो मिलता है एंड दैट इज अप्रोक्सीमेट इक्वल्स टू 3.1416 एंड डिनोटेड बाय पाई सो वी जनरली टेक द वैल्यू ऑफ पाई एज 22/7 और 3.14 अप्रोक्सीमेटली and which is an irrational number. So now you must know about irrational number. The number which can't be written in the form of p by q. So wo numbers jo p by q form mein fraction mein write nahi kiya ja sakte hain. Un number kum kya bolte hain? Irrational number bolte hain. So here the circumference equals to kya hoga? Pi into d. Circumference will be equals to pi into d. And pi into d. And d is the diameter. And that is twice of the radius. So pi into 2r. So 2 pi r will be the circumference of circle or you can say perimeter of circle. So c equals to 2 pi r where r is the radius of circle. So perimeter of circle equals to circumference of circle equals to 2 pi r unit. So now activity 2. So now we will do second activity to find or determine the area of circle. So now take a circle of radius r unit and cut the circle into number of sectors or you can say 16 parts or 16 sectors so now rearranging them as shown in figure and what you observed now what you observe karte hain, dekhte hain, dekhe, ek circle lije aur circle ko 16 equal parts mein divide kar dije so now we have a circle and divide the circle into 16 equal parts so you can see 8 are of blue color and 8 are of white color so now arrange this blue here and this white here so now this white 8 white color are equals to the length of half of the perimeter of circle and similarly here this length is equals to half of the perimeter of circle and this breadth is equals to radius of circle so now you can see area of rectangle this area of rectangle will be equals to area of circle as you know area of circle equals to length into breadth so area of rectangle kya hoga length into breadth and that is equals to area of circle so here area of circle will be equals to length into breadth and that is length is here half of the perimeter of circle that is 1 by 2 into perimeter of circle that is 2 pi r so 2 2 will be cancelled so length will be pi r and breadth is equals to this radius so that is r so pi r into r become pi r square unit so this is the area of rectangle or you can say area of circle equals to pi r square square unit so now we have example number one you can see here if the perimeter and area of circle are numerically equal then find the diameter of circle so we are given that perimeter of circle and area of circle are numerically equal so 2 pi r equals to pi r square so after simplifying we will get r equals to 2 unit so radius is 2 unit so diameter will be twice of the radius so 2 into 2 becomes 4 unit <coughs> so diameter mil jata 4 unit so now we have example number 2 the wheels of a car of diameter 80 meter each and how many complete revolution does each wheel make in 10 minute when the car is traveling at the speed of 66 kilometer per hour so we are given the diameter of wheel that is 80 centimeter so the radius of wheel will be, will be half of the diameter that is 80 by 2 equals to 40 centimeter so now convert this into meter so this will be 40 by 100 meter so now circumference of wheel that is the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution that is circumference of wheel that is 2 pi r so 2 into pi 22 by 7 and radius is 40 by 100 so this will be 176 by 70 meter and now speed that is 66 kilometer per hour and this will be equals to 55 by 3 meter per second so now number of revolution will be equals to total distance to be traveled by the wheel in 10 minute upon distance traveled by the wheel in one revolution <clears throat> so now distance traveled by wheel in 10 minute will be speed into time and here 2 pi r put all the values here and you will get 
4375 revolution will be made by the wheel in 10 minute to cover a distance <clears throat> at the speed 66 km per hour so now we are given three questions for practice you can see here question number one two and three so try to solve <clears throat> these questions and the first one is if the diameter of semicircular protector is 14 centimeter find its perimeter so we are given the diameter of semicircular protector that is of 14 centimeter so its radius will be 14 by 2 will be equals to 7, 7 centimeter so radius of protector is 7 centimeter so now its perimeter will be equals to half of the perimeter of circle that is this length and plus diameter so this will be the perimeter of protector so half of the perimeter of circle that is half of 2 pi r plus this diameter that is of 14 centimeter so this two will be cancelled so pi r plus d and pi is 22 by 7 radius is 7 so 7 7 will be cancelled 22 plus 14 become 36 centimeter so now this is the perimeter of protector and this is all about question number one so now proceed for question number two find the number of revolution made by the circular wheel of area <coughs> 6.16 meter square in rolling a distance of 572 meter so we need to find the number of revolution made by the wheel of area 6.16 meters in the rolling distance of 572 so we are given area of wheel that is 6.16 meter square let us assume that r be the radius of circular wheel so area of wheel will be pi r square so this is the area of wheel by the formula pi r square unit and this is the given area of wheel so equate these two so after equating pi r square equals to 6.16 meter square so put the value of area pi that is 22 by 7 into r square equals to 6.16 so now r square will be equals to 6.16 and transpose 22 by 7 to the right hand side and it will be 7 by 22 so now 0 0.28 can be written as 28 by 100 and this will be here 7 so 7 into 28 become 196 and this 100 will be here 196 upon 100 so now square will be transferred to the right hand side and become square root so here square root of 196 upon 100 and square root of 196 will be 14 and square root of 100 will be 10 so 14 by 10 become 1.4 so now given distance to be covered as 572 meter and distance covered by the wheel in one revolution will be 2 pi r that is the circumference of wheel so 2 into pi that is 22 by 7 and r is 1.4 that is 14 by 10 so after simplifying you will get 8.8 .8 meter and this is the distance covered by the wheel in one revolution so now number of revolution made will be equals to total distance to be covered by the wheel and total distance covered in one revolution so now total distance to be covered is 572 meter and distance covered in one revolution is 8.8 .8 meter so now 8.8 .8 .8 can be written as 88 by 10 and after reciprocal you will get 10 by 88 so after simplifying you will get 65 revolution these are the revolution made by the wheel so now question number three so we are given the cost of fencing a circular field at the rate of 24 per meter is 5280 and the field is to be plowed at the rate of 0 0.50 per meter square find the cost of plowing the field so we need to find the cost of plowing the field but before that we need the area of field and for the area of field we need the radius of field and we, we can find the radius field from this cost as we can count the perimeter or we can find the perimeter or circumference of field by this cost so first of all we are given that is cost of fencing the field at the rate of rupees 24 per meter is 5280 so we can find the length of fencing that is the circumference of circle <coughs> so, or we can say perimeter of circle so total cost of fencing we are given so we can find the length of fencing that is circumference of circle by dividing the total cost by cost of fencing per meter so here we are given total cost that is 5280 and cost of fencing for 1 meter is 2 piece 24 so we, get, we will get 220 meter as the circumference of circle but the circumference of circular field with the radius r unit is 2 pi r unit so 2 pi r equals to 220 so now 2 into pi that is 22 by 7 into r equals to 220 and r equals to 220 into 1 by 2 and 7 by 22 so r will be 35 meter r hame kya mil jata hai 35 meter mil jata hai so now area of field will be 
pi r square unit so put pi as 22 by 7 r square that is 35 into 35 so after simplifying you will get area as 3850 meter square this is the area of field as cost of plowing for 1 meter square is rupees 0 0.50 so cost of plowing for 3850 meter square will be 0 0.50 into 3850 so this can be written as 50 by 100 into 3850 and after simplifying we will get 1925 rupees that is the cost of plowing the field for 3850 meter square so this is all about worksheet number 49 so if you learn from this video then please do subscribe my channel and share this video as much as you can thanks for watching